Yo, wrench. Score! Check these out. I bet they use these during their undercover sting operations. Now, any trouble with the van? Nope. But WKZ hired humanized Zulu as extra security after all these bomb threats uh, they received. May I? Tell me, how long have you been a kitty fondler? Hey, man, you know that ain't right. Now, when you first saw the x-ray, did you recognize the action figure wedged inside your rectum? Yeah, it was my wrench figure. Figured that was the perfect hiding spot for him. Wrench? Did you give Marcus the USB? Yep. Way ahead of you. I uh, was just telling him to jam that puppy into one of WKZ's computers. And I'll take it from there. By the way, if they ever do make a red traction figure, they better glue the mask on so it doesn't traumatize children. You say that like it's a bad thing. Right. So plant Mike, put some spyware in the system, and steal a cool car using the biometric data we got from the Noodle V? I miss anything? A few other things, but don't worry. I got it covered. We've dispatched a contractor. Thank <laughs> you. 
Looks like somebody needs a visit from yesterday. Gotta be kidding me! That'll do it. I don't believe it. This fucking city! We don't want any dead cities.
Mike Planet. Open car. And like magic? <laughs> ka -ching. Shit, man, the car isn't responding. Hi, who, what now? Wrench. Head in the game? I'm trying to turn the wheel and nothing is happening. How the hell am I supposed to drive the damn car? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it might be voice control. Just talk to it. Talk to it? You gotta be joking. No, just talk to it. Uh, drive car. Seriously? Exit the building. Closest exit point. Driving. Shit, not through the window! Uh, I was a much better car voice. You were totally a fake car voice, but yeah, yeah you, you were better. Oh, Jesus, turn, turn! Dispatch to squad. Be on alert. Possible Get hostile. me the hell out of here. All right. Without killing me? All appropriate safety protocols will be followed. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. How do I revert you to manual control? I don't understand the question. Suspect couldn't have gotten far. Let's flush him out. Copy that. A patrol car is already the suspect. EMS ASAP. Officer down. Cops are on your ass. I know. I can't get control of the fucking wheel. You try asking the car to give you control? Yes! It didn't understand the question. Well, bypass the self-driving system. Are you a hacker or aren't you? Yeah, yeah. All right. I can do this before I get shot. Getting shot is inadvisable and will raise your insurance premiums. Ain't nobody ask you. I got manual control. The car. Awesome. Don't even ask what I had to do to get it. Huh. <laughs> Finally, can catch my breath. Ooh, ooh, life scores. Life scores, that's right. We were gonna check out people's life scores. This should be entertaining. I'm sure it will be. We could just look people up. Nah, much less fun and less useful footage as evidence. Oh, yes, that makes sense. Life scores should be visible when you hack people. Their profiles won't have the same granularity you'd find in the direct data, but will indicate high, medium, or low priorities. Squad, we're gonna circle back and see if we can pick them up. Be advised, units are en route to the suspect's location. new self-driving car. Key to your biometric data. They promise you safety and security in exchange for your biometrics. Using CTOS, they can see everything about you. And that may kill you. Noodle's car uses your life score linked to your biometric data and its algorithms. If it has to choose between your safety and that of someone else, the one with the higher life score lives. The other dies. Your car will kill you to save someone more important than you. You may not know your life score, but Noodle does. Will they judge you worthy? We have given you the truth. Do what you will. Where the hell were you the whole time I was working my ass off? Doing stuff.
How's my hair? Lynn can give me a comb? No? All right, fuck you. Oh, no. Oh, we're in for a big one. Can you... Can you feel it growing in the south? How long have you been an actor? Oh, I'd say between one and thirty years, I guess. But aren't we all acting when you really get down to it? BAM! High chance of rain, people! High chance of rain! Make sure you wear your protection, okay? Jesus shit, Jimmy! Where's my goddamn teleprompter? You know I can't even remember my own gosh darn name unless it came to me on the feet first, right?